Opal Gems on Earth is Opal. And up until recently, it was, a, it was right around 2009, when Africa, Ethiopia, starts producing some phenomenal Opal product that suddenly everybody had to sit up and take notice because, frankly, nothing could really rival Australian Opal. So Ethiopia starts producing this beautiful Opal. Well, then in northern Ethiopia, just a couple years ago, they find this, and it's called the Welo Opal. It's the Welo prov province just in northern Ethiopia. Tiny little area, extremely difficult to get to. They have to literally go there by hand. They have to drop down, tie ropes around themselves and drop themselves off these cliffs to get into this little area where the caves are, where they're finding this opal. So it's a very painstaking, laborious process to get the material. It's hard to get the material, which is why a lot of people still don't have it. Well, HSN, when we got the call to bring you these opals, we I just want to give you a little peek at the whole assortment here so you can see what this is all about. They consistently just knock our socks off. I mean, look at that. I know we're talking about the blues this hour, and frankly, next hour we're doing the multi-colored stones, but I still want to show you that we do have it available also in the uh, tourmaline choice, which is pretty spectacular as well. So... Wello Opal, as I said, completely has blown the gem world out of the water. People are going nuts. We go to the Tucson Gem Show, people go crazy for this opal. I mean, we all do. First time I saw it, it was a couple years ago at the Tucson Gem Show. I remember looking at the case at the Loose Stones, and I remember just dreaming, gee, wouldn't that be fun if we could sell this on HSN? Look at how that looks on Val's hand. I love that. It looks amazing. Oh, ladies, if you own this, call me. If you don't own one yet. So anyway, long story short, when our buyers said, we're going to work on a project here, we are going to work on bringing in Wello Opal and offer it at an exceptional value for the HSN girls, and the rest is history. And I am thrilled that we have it available. It's a huge customer pick. Uh, it is our top-selling opal ring of all time. It is really our top-selling tanzanite ring of all time and tourmaline ring. It's been a huge popular ring for us. And the thing that I'm most proud of is that I know you are getting world-class opal, best in class. You're getting world-class halo stones, whether you go with the tourmaline or you go with the tanzanite. And then it's also double halos of white zircon. So you have white zircon surrounding the opal, white zircon here. I'm just using four. I wanted to grab four rings and show you how gorgeous. It does not matter which one. They are all so beautiful. Clearly, no two are identical because, friends, this is natural opal. This is of the earth. This is mother nature. There is no, sometimes with opal, they do what's called doublets. You've seen this, right? Where they take a little skinny slice of opal and then they crown it with something else. Or sometimes with opal, they back it. In other words, they take the opal and they put something behind it to make it reflect and kind of enhance the stone. These are not enhanced at all. Zero, zippo, zilcho. They do not inject these with anything. They don't heat these. They don't color treat, nothing. You know, in the gem world, there are many different enhancements that are used. It is common practice. I mean, it's something that's been done for centuries. They've been enhancing gemstones to bring out the natural beauty of the stone. So there's nothing wrong with stone enhancing as long as, you know, you know what you're getting. But it's always exciting when we can tell you this is untouched by nature. This is what Mother Nature does from the finest area of opal discovery in the world, the Welo province in northern Ethiopia. And it's, it's a stone that's called hydrophane. And this is something that was new to me. I was not familiar with exactly with what that meant. But one of the things about...